images of Prime Minister Modi meeting with Majesty Sultan Haji Hassan al Bolkaya. These are images that are coming in right now. The Prime Minister currently in Brunei, and this is the first time that an Indian Prime Minister has visited the country. So, obviously, there's a lot of focus really on what are the tangible takeaways from this visit. Now, in, in fact, the meeting that's happened with the Sultan of Brunei, uh, talks have focused on cementing bilateral ties between the nations, uh, trade ties, commercial linkages. People-to-people -people exchanges is really the focus. And these are images right now of uh, the fires that are being exchanged, the bilateral that's taken place. As external affairs minister, uh, Dr. S. J. Shankar, is also with the prime minister. The Prime Minister is currently in Brunei for a two-nation visit. Next stop will be Singapore, so it's very, very crucial. And this visit, historic, because like I said, it's the first time you're seeing an Indian Prime Minister touch down in the country. It also coincides with the 40th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic ties between the two nations. Uh, and uh, in fact, while the Prime Minister has met with the Sultan of Brunei, there's been detailed discussions right now on exactly how they can take the relationship forward as well such a crucial date of marking 40 years of the ties between the two countries. Geeta Mohan, a foreign affairs editor, is joining us with more details on this. Geeta, uh, Prime Minister Modi meeting with the Sultan of Brunei, Hassan al Bolkaya. Take us through really the big takeaways of this meeting. Well, uh, the, the, the meeting is important. He is uh, meeting with the Sultan uh, of Brunei, Haji Hassan al Bolkaya. It was at his invitation that the uh, uh, the Prime Minister made this visit first of an Indian Premier. Um, the talks, uh, Prime Minister Modi also tweeted saying that uh, uh, the talks were arranged from uh, cementing bilateral ties between the two countries to expanding trade ties, commercial linkages and people-to-people -people exchanges. So important conversations over there between the two sides. There are certain MOUs that, uh, and, and agreements uh, between the two sides that also... Uh, will be inked and uh, f uh, and, and firmed up, uh, uh, um, uh, and that that's something Akshita will have to wait and see as to uh, what are the deliverables that have come out of this uh, meeting that took place between the two countries. Uh, but then they had already gone with a very planned visit of what they want to focus on, and that focus area did uh, involve and include the uh, not just India's uh, uh, in, in India's focus on Axis, but also on the bilateral front to see how the two countries can really go ahead and cooperate on trade, on hydrocarbons, a very, very important aspect when it comes to uh, energy security uh, for India and uh, and for, for the world. So in the, in the Indo-Pacific region, again, cementing ties to ensure a safe and secure Indo-Pacific. That's another area that, uh, that has been looked into and has been a part of the conversations that have taken place between the two sides, between India and Brunei. So, Prime Minister Modi will be concluding his visit over here with the bilateral conversations that took place between the two sides, and he'll be headed to Singapore, which is another leg of India's Act East policy visit uh, this time around, engaging in bilateral discussions uh, for cooperation and strengthening the Indo-Pacific architecture. Uh, one of the big highlights, really, of the Prime Minister's visit so far has been one, of course, the visit, Gita, to the renowned Omar Ali Saifuddin Mosque in Brunei, and secondly, to the world's largest palace, Istana Nurul Iman Palace. Well, absolutely. Um, the fact that he's been there, um, uh, uh, it started from the get-go, Akshita. Look at the uh, visuals of uh, his, uh, his, his, uh, uh, him being welcomed. Uh, massive, massive uh, Indian community presence. It's about for a country, uh, uh, a small uh, country like Brunei, and small only in size, not not in stature. Um, uh, there are about 14,000 uh, Indian uh, people from the Indian community who live there. They were waiting there to meet the Prime Minister. And so Prime Minister Narendra Modi, again, emphasizing the importance of diversity, unity, uh, cultural oneness. Uh, the mosque visit was important, has been important for uh, the Indian leader to, um, to show that representation every time he goes uh, abroad, especially in countries, Islamic nations, um, the, the, the oneness and respect for other faiths. And so the mosque visit was important. It's a significant mosque. It has historical 
uh, value and uh, therefore the the visit to the mosque the palace and uh, now the bilateral conversations between the two sides again enhancing and contributing to each other's economy and society is the focal point of the year all right, Geeta, thanks very much for joining us with those details. We'll continue to track the highlights of the Prime Minister's visit to Brunei. In just a few hours from now, he's going to be making his way to Singapore, another very, very significant leg uh, of this entire visit and tour by the Prime Minister.